was into anime when it was called Japanimation. Um, I'm pointing because she's been cosplaying as long as I have, but you stopped and became an adult. <laughs> and I did not. Um, I think it's great. I mean, it was funny because I met somebody recently who was upset about Heroes of Cosplay. He was upset because he was like, well, now everybody knows about cosplay, and now there's just people jumping in. And I said, you know, when did you start cosplaying? And he said, three years ago. And I was like, if I had that attitude, you wouldn't know about cosplay, because I've been cosplaying longer than you. So if you think it's so great and you love it, and you don't want to share with everybody, that's just selfish. And for me, um, I think it's great. There's more merchandising. I mean, now it's really, it's a lot easier to get materials. I mean, when I started, there was no, we actually legitimately, we were joking about this, we had to sharpie our wigs because there was like two colors. And I grew up in very rural Canada, so it was really hard to get materials. There were no thermal plastics. That's how come I had to learn to sculpt mold and cast everything. Um, no specialty fabrics. Um, you know, makeup was... For, for like first five years, I wondered why my photos looked really bad. It's because I didn't realize I needed makeup. There was no tutorials. There was no YouTube. There was no people sharing information. And because people are sharing information now in the community and sharing with everybody else, I mean, there are people who are making their costumes for the first time that are blowing my mind because they're like, I made this in 3D and then 3D printed it out, and then now I'm a Halo. You know, now Master Chief. And I'm like amazing or a guy did a Warhammer outfit that I was like that's fantastic and I so I, I'm honestly about sharing all the information and and because things can only become better by more people being involved and yeah there might be some aspects you don't like but there's a lot more aspects you will love yes. what is your favorite video game character that you've cosplayed I've only cosplayed a couple <laughs> Which of I love video favorite? games, but I don't actually don't ever cosplay them. I would have to probably say I think um, Tira doing Tira from Soul Calibur because I liked having that really big ring, um, and the shoes were really comfortable. So and I don't have to wear a thong. We're regular. <laughs> <laughs> it's girl stuff. You know what she does. Weren't her heels really high though? No, no, she original? has like flats. Oh, she has flats. Yeah, she oh, totally has flats. Unlike Ash, yeah. who has really high heels, and that's really uncomfortable. But um. I would, my favorite game series are Final Fantasy and Legend of Zelda, and I've to this day still never done a Legend of Zelda costume, because it's that weird thing where you love something so much that maybe, I, I'm like, I want to make sure I do it so well of something I love so much, and I just have to have a Perfect. Yeah, that's right. Bow, chicka, bow, wow! Hopefully that was alright, guys. Sorry, I rambled.